Okay, so we're going to look at posemorph. I had a question about this in class. Uh, go ahead and close that down. Uh, I'm going to start with this figure here, and uh, I did have a tag on it that uh, a sculpt tag that shows some texture. I advise you uh, make sure that you do this before um, you have put the sculpt tag on it, or do any sculpting, and then stick that texture on later. Uh, so let's start with our basic figure here, and again I have all the points selected, so I'm in points mode, and again I'm going to use the brush tool, just a very simple brush tool to get through this. So right click on your model, and you're going to go to character tags, all right, and pose morph. Oops. There we go. Computer's running a little wonky. I have an older computer here, so just bear with me. Uh, and we're gonna, just going to use the points for pose morph, so we're going to keep it simple. Uh, it automatically goes to edit mode, base pose. I'm going to double click that and smile. And again, I'm not going to be shoot for accuracy too, too much. I just wanted to actually show you the features. So I'm going to use the brush tool. So MC on my keyboard, obviously, I've got it set to a very small radius based upon the size of uh, my model here, which is very small and 60%. You can set however you want with the brush tool. And I use M, C on the keyboard for that quick key on that. Click on my pose morph here. It's already set to strength of 100%. So whatever I do here, changing whatever features here, is going to be at 100% what that pose should be at. So uh, makes sense. So I'm just going to pull up some of the areas here of the cheek and bring that smile up a little bit more. And we're going to stretch this out just a little bit. All right. Again, if you're doing something like this, you want to shoot for a little bit more accuracy. Obviously, uh, it's best to look or use references um, to allow you to see what you know the eyes are actually going to be doing, what the mouth is going to be doing, uh, so it doesn't look freakishly inhuman, uh, unless that's what you're shooting for. But uh, again, reference material uh, is always a good idea. Uh, especially when you're animating. Okay. And go with what you think you usually know. Because usually I miss most of the details, as I'm probably going to be doing right here. Okay. So I've got that set. Uh, and again, I've got this kind of freakish grin that's happening on here. Maybe I should have called this grin. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and leave it as it is. And that's smile. Uh, I'm going to have one more pose here. And you can see how it jumps back to the base pose setting, which is good. And I'm going to put brown on here uh, and using the same brush tool here uh, I'm going to actually bring this up just a little bit so MC and I'm going to put 0.08 okay. with those I'm going to put pose morph and at 100% for the frown I'm going to start dragging everything down okay Yeah, it takes muscles to uh, actually make things happen, so we don't want to forget the other parts of the face uh, as I'm doing this. And let's kind of bring the chin down just a bit more. Alright, so there's my freakish frown. Uh, we're going to leave that how it is. I'm going to add one more pose here. So we're just going to jump back up. Again, pose morphs make this so easy. And just call this one smirk. Oh, that's kind of weird. Can't see that one back. I'm just going to leave that as as is there too. Maybe give it a little bit more interest into the eyes. Okay, and we'll leave that how it is. And basically, now all we have to do here is um, hit animate, 
And you can see everything's going to look really freaky. That's because we have 100% on the smile, frown, hand smirk at the same time, which you can animate all together. Uh, but again, I can keep those all and just kind of lessen the actual strength of the overall pose morph and get something interesting that's happening here. And let's go ahead and go to model mode so you can actually see what's happening. Okay. So very cartoonish, but if I leave this at 100% and bring everything down to zero, so there's my frown. And there's my smile. And there's my kind of smirk. It's more confused, but uh, we'll leave it as it is. So uh, you get a kind of basic idea of how that works. Uh, again, you can animate those just by clicking, control clicking these little dots here. So frame zero, I'm going to control click smile. At frame 20, I'm going to put that at 100%. And at frame 30, I'll bring it down pretty quickly again. And we're just going to leave it right there. And then at frame. We're going to go ahead and keyframe all of those, and then at frame 50, we're going to make it frown. Okay. And then at frame 80, bring this down, and the smirk all the way up. So we're just going to see what happens here. Push play. Oh, I didn't record the sliders. That is where my problem was. So at frame zero here, let's bring this all the way down. Uh, I was actually keyframing the buttons themselves. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keyframe or record sliders there. Uh, I was actually keyframing the on off position of those. So that was my problem. And then at frame 20, go ahead and record sliders. So this even makes it easier. Frame 30, bring them down, record sliders. 50, frown, record sliders, and at frame 85, we're going to bring that frown, and put that smirk back in. And there you have it. So a very simple way to animate something without using uh, any of the, uh, this is actually a character tool here, but without using any rigging uh, or character rigging on this. So hope this uh, video helped you out a little bit, understand things briefly. Uh, and if you have any more questions, uh, either email me or uh, hit a link. Uh, you can also see it at willmcdaniel.wordpress.com. That's the uh, site that uh, we use for the high school. And we've got so a lot of basic stuff that's on there and some links to some really good sites, very professional sites that are out there.